What up though YouTube, it's your boy Kelvin Jen. You guys will not believe what just came in the mail. I got a surprise for you guys. Let's go check it out. What up though y'all? So what came in the mail is Blendjet just came in the mail and I'm so excited to try this thing out. You guys do not even understand. Look at the box, it's got some uh, it's got some apples on there. You got the box here and stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, man. I'm gonna oh, crack this baby open here. Swell! Boom, baby! Oh yeah, look at that. So it comes with a cool little USB port. Um, this is cool, let's get this paper out of here. I just wanna set the blend jet up because it looks so sexy. I, I'm so excited, guys. I cannot wait to use this product. Um, shout out Blendjet for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's see what this is about. So it comes with a cool little USB port here. We got the micro, micro and USB port here, pretty classic. And then you got the regular USB port here so you can plug it into your computer or you can plug it into a, another charging base. I have Droid, so I use turbo chargers. So I'm gonna have this plugged into a turbo charger. I mean, this thing's gonna be charged in no time, so that's pretty dope. And here's the device, guys. This, ah! You guys do not understand how long I've been wanting one of these blend jets. So you screw the top off right here. There's a nice, um, it's got a good rubber seal in there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think that comes out. This might actually screw out, I don't know. If that screws out, I'll, I'll leave a comment and let you guys know if that screws out or not, but I don't think it does. So here we have like a strainer here. That's pretty cool. So I guess if you don't want like the pulp and stuff that might build up depending on what you're making in here, you can go ahead and strain it and get that straight uh, liquid out of there. So that's pretty cool. I wonder, can you screw this right to it without the strainer? So I guess you can use it like that too without having the strainer on there, just the straight blend jet on its own. That's pretty dope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it with the strainer for now though, for the sake of this video. Here's a um, instruction. A Blendjet instruction guide. Go check them out on IG, guys. At Blendjet, this is a really good, dope company. Shout out, uh, Jen. Shout out, Jen. Hey, shout out, shout out, shout out. This is uh, the Blendjet team on the back. That's pretty cool. Sincerely, that's pretty dope. So let's get rid of that for now. We have this awesome device here, guys. So it has six stainless steel blades inside. As you can see, the prongs of them are like shaped, uh, got different angles in there. And let's see if it works. Yeah, it works right out the box. So right out the box, you get the blades moving, blades spinning. And yeah, I'm excited to uh, to try this thing out. You got the charger port here. As you can see, the, the micro port goes into it here. Cool. Slots right in, charge it, boom, on the go, let's go. So let's go ahead and see what we can put inside of this thing because this thing is long overdue and we need to put some ingredients inside of it. So. So I went ahead and put some ice in here. We got some ice in there. This thing is supposed to be able to crush ice really well, so we're gonna test it out, see how that goes. We got ice. I got a little bit of dragon fruit. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Now, I've never actually had dragon fruit, I don't think, myself. Oh, look at that. It's like a reddish. So let's get some dragon fruit in there. Hopefully that's good. I don't know if that's gonna be good or not. Got some dragon fruit. We'll just put like three of those in there. Original almond milk. Some store stuff I just picked up at the market. Got some original almond milk. I don't know if this is gonna be nasty or not. Hopefully it's not. Let me shake it up. So I'm gonna put a little bit of almond milk in there. Some black seedless grapes. We're gonna go ahead and Pop some of these bad boys in there, like so. Pop, 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 pew, baby. Woo! -wee. It's already looking healthy, right? Ain't that looking healthy? Oh man, I can change my life with this thing. Some organic original fruit that I picked up from the, from the store. Let's see what this is about. Okay, we got a strawberry. Let's do, let's do a strawberry in there, and we got a little raspberry in there. And let's do one more raspberry, right? Save this for 
the next day, right? I might want to make some more of this. So I've never tried this mix before. And we're gonna see how this tastes, guys. And hopefully it's good. Now we're gonna go ahead and screw this on top. Now, I hear that they say to start, it's best to start it um, flipped upside down so the blades can kind of get spinning first. But we're gonna try it just normal without flipping it upside down just to see how strong it is. And I don't know how much is charged on it, but we're gonna find out. So yeah, let's go ahead and give it a go. Oh, there you go, so look. So with this amount of ice in it, it flays down, it doesn't even get started. But we're gonna turn it upside down and see. Let me shuffle it, some of the ice is. I got a lot of ice in there, so. They say this is 12 ounces. 12 ounces of liquid you can pile into this bad boy. So it's pretty quiet off the table. On the table, it's pretty loud. But off the table, it's not loud. It's nowhere near um, like a regular blender. Woo, this is so awesome, guys. You guys see that it has like an automatic shut off, it looks like. I'm gonna let it run. Lift it off the table. That's pretty dope. Oh, and it's cold. The ice really works, guys. It's so nice and cold. That's so dope. I just wanna make sure this is blended up as best as I can. And you can see it has like an automatic shut off. It seems like it runs for a short period of time and then it shuts off and you have to switch it again to give it another go. So that's pretty cool to kind of preserve on battery life. But um, let's see, let's go ahead and read it. Before I get to tasting this, let's read what the instruction says. It says, uh, never put your hands inside your blend jet or try to touch the blades before first use Add water and press the power button on your blend jet to rinse it. I did not do that at all, so do not be like me. <laughs> Clean your blend jet before taking it out the box. But me, I don't care, it's just some germs, whatever, right? Uh, your blend jet will take up to three hours to fully charge, but often charges much faster. It will arrive mostly charged. Oh, okay, so out the box, it's already pretty fully charged. That's pretty cool. Um, charge it before your first use. I did not do that. Make sure you guys do that. The light turns red while charging and blue once fully charged. You can charge your blend jet with any USB port, uh, your phone, computer, you know, any charger you want to put it into. Always start by adding a liquid such as water, milk, or juice. This will make blending easy. So I should have put a little bit more um, milk in the beginning because I had like, it was like almost straight ice on there really. Um, let's see, we recommend cutting your fruit or other ingredients into small chunks for maximum blending power. Start your blend jet upside down so that the blades reach their top RPM, then turn it right side up uh, so that your ingredients hit all six blades at full speed. Very important guys on that one. You can blend ice, make sure you blend with sufficient liquid inside first. 
and that your cubes aren't too large. If they get stuck, add liquid, shake your blend jet a bit, or turn it upside down. We do not recommend hot liquids over 120 degrees. So make sure you're not putting too hot if you're doing like coffee blends, coffee mixes, or anything like that. Make sure it's not over 120 degrees too hot because this is plastic, so you don't want it too hot and start to wear all wear on the plastic here, guys. And let's see, to clean your blend jet, simply put it in water with an optional drop of dish soap, blah, 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 and blah, 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 and run it, blah, 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 run it as many times as needed. And yeah, or it says you can also throw it in a dishwasher. Oh, no, 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 it says we don't recommend putting the jar or lid in the dishwasher. The, the jar or the lid, so I guess the whole thing. Never submerge the electronic base. Never put this whole thing in water. Uh, let's see, red and blue flashing lights mean your jar isn't aligned with your base. To fix this, simply screw your jar clockwise into the base. The arrow on the jar should line up with the line on the base. The arrow on the jar should line up. What arrow on the jar? I see this arrow, this this arrow line up with switch. Woo! So it leaks. Oh shit. <laughs> I was not expecting it to uh to leak out like that, but apparently it does. So do not open it while you have liquid in it. Don't do that. Red flashing lights mean your blend jet needs to be recharged or that your blades are blocked. Recharge or shake your blend jet and or turn it upside down, then flip it back over for a while. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the instructions. I wanna see exactly what this tastes like. I've never tried this mix before again. We have the dragon fruits. We have some strawberries and some uh, what uh, raspberries in here. We have some some black seedless grapes and almond milk. And let's go ahead and taste it out. So I go ahead and screw off the I'm screwing off the strainer and the and the top. And let's see. Mm. Could use a little more flavor. Could definitely use more flavor. I probably should have put a little bit more, either more grapes or more almond milk. But all in all, it tastes like a pretty good smoothie and it's healthy. Oh man. Okay, I take it back about the flavor. I take it back, it's pretty good. Mm. And I like how the ice is blended It's blended pretty good, but the ice is like very, very, very subtle little specks of ice, which is really good because when you're out and about, you know what I'm saying? You don't want, you don't want it to just melt right away and get all hot in the summertime or something like that. So this is great. It'll keep the, um, the beverage a little cool, you know, you know, 30 minutes, an hour or however long while you're, while you're headed out into the hiking or something like that, which I will be doing. Stay tuned. I'm gonna wrap this video up. I'm gonna finish drinking this off. And yeah, I'm gonna try to do this daily. So I'm um, not make videos daily, but I'm gonna try to drink, you know, some good healthy little shakes daily because I'm trying to work on my health and things like that. So. Mmm.